At the bottom of the screen, you can see the five red filter sensitivity buttons. In this result picture, you can see that the diamonds in the center box are painted in red to the extent that you cannot really see them. That means that the red filter is too sensitive. The lower the number of the red filter, the more sensitive it is. Currently, it is at five, obviously way too sensitive. We cannot distinguish between the diamonds. Let's go to 10. You can see that it's improving and we start seeing the shape of the diamonds. If we go to 20 or even 50, you can clearly see that there are 10 stones inside the box. Again, when we are at five, we cannot see anything. Maybe there was a natural stone hiding there. If we go to 50, we can clearly distinguish between all the diamonds. All the diamonds in the box are indeed lab-grown diamonds. Your detector comes with preset sensitivity levels. However, you can change the level anytime as needed. There are two ways to go to settings. The first way, click on the orange button at the bottom left of the screen. Click the camera icon to run a test. Click on the setting wheel on the top right corner. Here you can see the five red filter buttons. One, two, three, four, and five. Here they are preset from five to 50, as we feel this should cover all scenarios. However, you can change them any way you wish. Let's change the filter number five from 50 to 100. Slide the button and use the arrows to get to the number you wish. Click on the arrow on the top to save the settings and go back. Click it again if you are back at the testing mode. Focus, zoom, and run a test. 100 is not sensitive enough. You can see the stones are not fully painted in red. However, you can play with the red sensitivities and get your optimum testing results for different types of goods. Let's see the second way to reach the settings. Click on the orange button on the bottom left of the screen. Click the menu button on the bottom right of the screen. Scroll down to settings and press the button. Go to advanced settings. Here you can adjust the settings until you get to your optimal settings. Here we set it back to 50.